Hi, I'm Suzanne from Happy Gut and I'm going to show you today how to make temper burgers. Um, temper isn't strictly FODMAP friendly, but if you can tolerate it, it's an amazing thing to eat. It's full of prebiotics, so it's brilliant for digestive health, amazing at boosting your immune. So it couldn't be the more perfect thing to eat right now. And with it being hot outside, barbecue weather, I figured let's get veggie burger baking. Now, because I am doing lots of batching at the moment, I literally, if I roast vegetables, I roast loads up. I've got lots of different leftovers that I'm gonna use. So if you don't have exactly what I have in your house, that's not a problem. You can pick and choose from what you've got and we'll talk through what you can replace things with in a minute. So to begin with, what we're gonna use is a temper. This is what the temper looks like. It's fermented soybeans. Um, and like I say, it's literally, Full of really really great stuff so if you've not had it give it a go it's slightly firmer than tofu um, but still has an amazing texture that you can use in a veggie burger and um, the other things we're going to use are a few spices so I've got some chili spice I've got some paprika um, we've got some tamari if you haven't got tamari soy sauce will do if you can tolerate gluten a little bit of balsamic to sweeten it up and then I've got some of my root vegetables here I've got some roasted beetroot some roasted carrots and some parsnips and then to help bind it all together, we've got a little bit of polenta. You could use breadcrumbs if you have gluten. You could use uh, oats ground if you want. We've also got some flax seeds, so some great nutritional stuff in here and a little bit of nutritional yeast to give it a little bit of a cheesy taste. It won't taste cheesy, it just gives that savoury taste. And then over here, I've just literally fried off some of my wild garlic. Now it's okay if you haven't got wild garlic. Again, you can substitute for spring onions, the tops of um, green spring onions if you are intolerant to things like onions. Um, you could use a garlic bulb if you can tolerate garlic. Um, otherwise, tops of green onions, chives or tops of leeks, they'll all do. Again, just to give it that nice a nice little flavour in there. So I'm gonna pop my my wild garlic in here and I'm gonna give it a quick whiz around just to break it down a little bit before I then start getting to work on the burger. Now I don't mind if there are big bits in mine, it depends how you like it, I quite like a lot of texture. And then literally, all you need to do to bring this together is to, let's bring over the, temper and I'm just going to chop those into smaller chunks and pop them in my processor like this and then I'm going to start putting in all my other things you never know when the kids might come in they're quiet right now but you never never know so in goes my nutritional yeast, my polenta and my flax seeds. And then I think I'm gonna try some carrots. These are just literally roasted thyme infused carrots. Gonna put a couple of those in. And then I quite fancy adding the beetroot in as well for a little bit more flavor. Again, be careful on your amounts, um, FODMAP wise but just a few will be absolutely fine. You're allowed two slices. So if you think about how many burgers you're gonna make, I reckon four or six will be fine. Wash my hands. Okay, then we are gonna literally add a tablespoon of tamari soy sauce if you've got it. Uh, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of balsamic because I'm going to get sweetness already through from those roasted vegetables which will be lovely and then a teaspoon of chili powder I kind of like a little bit of spice so we'll go with some smoky paprika as well that will make them super tasty and then all you need to do is whiz it together and then put them in the pan. Spatula, grabbing the spatula and then just poking it all down to get it all to go 
to get it all to bind together more. I mean, perhaps I should have used something bigger than my mini chopper for this task, but hey. <laughs> should have used something slightly bigger than my mini chopper but I'm just going to stuff it all down and it will work its way through that blade is super powerful hopefully let's see beautiful colour and the texture that's coming through from this. These are going to make amazing, super tasty burgers. Uh, but yeah, definitely, if I were you, I'd use a bigger food processor if you've got one. Yes, now it's working. Give it a shake. shall we so you can see I've still got a way to go on my top stuff but if I grab a bowl I'm going to show you I'm going to take out the top stuff that just needs a little bit more blending and then I'm going to show you what we're left with which is going to be the burgers look at that how cool is that so literally, all we need to do is scoop up a patty size worth. And literally, just roll them around and look at that. How beautiful is that? It actually looks like a burger. The beetroot was a really cool idea. It makes it a really nice colour. Ooh, could fool the children into thinking that these are actual burgers. Interesting. Um, so there you go. That is the temper burger with loads of roasted veg that I had lying around the house. Um, these are going to go on my barbecue later. Keep an eye out. Um, I will take some pictures and you will get a chance to see what they look like. But they are going to be super duper tasty and delicious. Anyway, give them a go. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.